Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we implemented creating a new user and opening the user form in the bootstrap model using Ajax. Now in this video, we will update an existing user and open the edit form inside bootstrap model. So let's see how it is working right now. When you click on edit link, this will op this is opening the user's form into a separate page and when you submit the data this will redirect you on show page and now when you click on back you will come at the index page now we need to change this flow since we have done uh, most of the things in the last lecture that like uh, uh, creating our form to bootstrap changing our form to bootstrap model and uh, created a new dot js to trb and we seen that how we can add boots how we can use bootstrap model so we just need to replicate that process just similar to create dot js to trb now first copy this bootstrap model at the users index page and paste it here and just change this and it the title of this model header like uh, edit user and you can just simply write here like uh, edit user form and at all the places of new user model you must write edit user model okay so we will use this model for editing for displaying form for editing user model for editing user record sorry and now just like we added data attributes here we need to add same data attributes at uh, this partial this is for edit link so add that data ps toggle add model here ps target Hash edit user form and remote true. And into the control now, create a new file just like new.js.trb, edit.js.trb. And open the new.js.trb, copy this line and paste into edit.js.trb and you don't need to do anything except changing this DOM ID that is edit user form and we are we have set this ID here edit user form so now let's open this form in the DOM reload the page click on the edit link nothing will be open let's see what's error here coming as edited chairs let's figure out what it is okay we are we have set wrong id here edit user model now reload the page and try again click on edit okay you will see that form is open in the edit form is opening in the bootstrap model you can try by checking any user so that's it now we need to render the response as js in the controller so come to the user controller and inside the update action add format.js in both where saving record or rollbacking record just at format.js and just like uh, creating a record we need to make a js template here that is update.js.erb save it as update.js.erb 
now you just need to copy the content from update.js create.js.drb and paste it into update.js.drb now yes you can see that in while creating a record we were appending the created entry to the top of the table or sorry we are prepending to the table but now we do not need to prepend that we need to replace the current row which we are updating the we need to replace the row by updated record so we don't need that instead you can see here that we have added some id here like uh, user row 111 user row 110 and so on so we need this id so we will add user row underscore real stake at the red user dot id and then you can simply use replace with replace with is a jquery function which will uh, replace the content of uh, target element by the template we are providing or the func options we are providing and we just need to do, we just need to do the same thing by, for hiding the model when record updated successfully so let's try this reload the page open this form update this record you can see that model record has been updated and row has been replaced and model popup has been closed you can do, try with the same thing with other record like create here is that we are changing email we get the red appsimpact.com and now update the user you can see record has been updated and entry has been replaced here so that's the objective of this video in the next video we will open the user details in a bootstrap model like uh, you can see here that right now we are showing user details on a different page but in the next lecture we will display the user details just like uh, create a new edit form in the bootstrap model so thanks for watching this video and see you in the next tata bye bye